how many of you have used inactive member command in stat pro or in which condition you will utilize this command see you will say that if it's not an active member why should we model it or what's the requirement hello structural engineers welcome back to civil nirman where we always emphasize on learning concepts rather than learning just software see in today's video we will discuss a fascinating concept called inactive members and how they are used in brace frame structure for the efficient analysis see this topic is essential to understand how bracing members are handled in various load scenarios by the end of this video you will know what inactive members are why they are used and how they can influence the results of of your structural analysis this tutorial is specially designed or useful for the beginners to understand why and how we deactivate the braces to simulate the real world loading conditions first let's understand what is a brace frame see it's a structural system where diagonal members called braces resist the lateral forces like winds and earthquake but in certain scenarios we don't want these braces to participate in the load transfer process and this is where the concept of inactive member comes in picture so let's understand this particular segment in sad analysis with a brace frame let's check out so for your understanding i have this particular frame with the brace so for your understanding i have created one sample frame with the bracing over here you can check out this with some properties right and a simple dead load plus live load loading on the vertical on this particular members okay i have applied two forces now let's first understand what is inactive member in stat so in stat pro the inactive member commands allow us to temporarily exclude specific members from the structural analysis and these member stiffness contributions are ignored meaning that they don't resist any forces or moments during the analysis so let's understand why this is useful now the next question that comes in your mind is that why we use inactive members see bracing members in a frame structures are designed primarily to resist the tensile forces however when subjected to the compressive forces like in the certain wind load scenarios they may buckle or behave inefficiently now to simulate this behavior we deactivate these members for the specific load cases ensuring they don't contribute stiffness when in compression one important thing i forgot to mention is that for this particular the member command uh, the member truss is specified to this cross bracing which means that it these are the braces which will only carry the actual forces and pin supports are used as the base to allow the rotation but restrict the translation king big it's simple for beginners model all right now let's understand so first of all for your understanding with the vertical load i will simply analyze this structure and let me show you how the bracings are contributing to resist this vertical force so we will run the analysis first now i'll go to the post processing mode and first of all i'll show you the actual loading right now for your understanding i'll go to the structural diagram and go to the loads and results so here you can see the compression is highlighted with this color and tension with the blue color right so currently all the bracings are contributing in resisting the vertical loads right now let's make a change to understand the inactive member specification right so what i'll do is that we use the inactive member commands to exclude specific members from the stiffness matrix and this will simulate real life scenarios where braces might not carry the load under certain conditions for example let's just inactivate this bracing members i'll turn on shift b command to understand the member numbers okay so i'll just modify the labels over here i'll go to the display option beam labels and let's make it change so that you can see 9 10 11 12 13 14 are the bracing members 
so let's make it inactive so i'll simply uh, go to the specification tab click on beam option and click over here on the inactive button option you can add it over here and assign this segment the way we usually assign all the specification right now for your understanding what i have done i have already defined these members as an inactive members in the stat editor to avoid the lengthy video timing right so i'll show you over here see i have assigned inactive members 9 to 14 i'll turn on the editor currently which is hidden right now these members are inactive with the first load case now i'll close the stat editor and now we will run the analysis again now let me show you the difference over here now for this particular vertical load you will see the difference in your analysis part you can see that the main frame is getting deflected but if i turn on the actual force for your understanding see these bracings are not participating in carrying any load right so that is the first part so here member 9 to 14 are deactivated meaning their stiffness contributions are ignored and this is often done to prevent braces from taking compressive loads as they are designed only for tension now let's understand the same configuration with the different loading let's say for the wind loading so here we will consider the load cases for the wind load and we will incorporate the wind load from the left side as well as for the right side right so for that particular as well i have implemented that in the stat editor i'll just turn it on to make sure it will impact with the wind loading so let's switch to the command file i'll switch on the load case 2 over here currently uncomment see i have added perform analysis change over here you can observe this so basically the perform analysis command instruct the program to proceed with the analysis only primary load cases will be considered for the analysis right and the change command will reactivate all inactive members so at each segment i have added perform analysis then change then specified inactive members okay now for the next analysis that we are going to do that is the wind analysis and for the wind analysis i have added wind load from the left let me show you in this stat editor So I'll save this. I'll go to the loading tab again and you can see these are two loads which are applied over here on the left hand side as in point load. Right? Now as you can see over here in the wind load case, wind load from the left, the horizontal forces act on this particular node number four and node number seven now to avoid the compressive forces in specific braces we will deactivate them so let's say we are deactivating this 10 11 this particular 10 then 11 and 30 so that deactivation is also performed in the editor part or you can directly do that i'll just show you so you can see over here before the wind load code i have added perform analysis change then inactive members so for this particular load case when the analysis is performed this particular members will be inactivated right now let's just check out how it is working so i'll run the analysis again and you will be able to see that that particular member will not take part in the analysis now you can go by the judgment that as i have implemented the load over here this will go in compression and this will go in tension but currently we have 
specify this particular members as inactive members so ultimately this particular bracing will take the force will transfer from here and this particular bracing will carry the tension part over here so let's just check out this in the post processing part and you can see this in the deflection behavior right there is no movement or there is no participation of this particular bracings currently and the frame is getting laterally deflected like this now if i'll show you uh, the what you can say the actual force diagram to get a better understanding right so these are the frame in compression and this is the frame in tension these members are not currently taking any part over here now in the same manner uh, i'll activate the other component as well that is wind load in the other direction followed with the bracing members in the opposite direction so right now we have inactivated this three members now for when i implement wind load in this direction i want this particular members to be deactivated so in the editor mode what i have done is i have implemented that with the perform analysis change command again for the other case that is load case number three wind from right so before that load case this particular members are getting inactivated followed by perform analysis change so when stad will automatically perform analysis for the load case two if for the load case three part these members will get deactivated now let's check out this so see for the third load case and i have added few combination as well this is wind load from the right right and the other members are inactivated followed by perform analysis change now let's run the analysis you can see the behavior right for the right side of the segment i'll turn on the actual force diagram and you can see the difference over here right other bracings are inactivated similarly you can add the load combinations over here the way i have added i have added combination for load case 1 and 2 and the next load case is for 1 and 3 wind from left and wind from right so these combinations account for the simultaneous dead live and wind loads i hope you are understanding one i have combined when wind can act from left and one with the wind can act from the other direction as well added the parameters so stad evaluates if the member size and materials meet the code requirements or not also for the particular load case if you wish to deactivate uh, the brace member and analyze you can do that too utilizing the perform analysis change with the inactive member commands that's what is the important part over here to understand let me show you here for the, all the different cases the results so here i have all three cases right you can check the dead load and live load case then this one is wind from left and wind from right so all three cases you can check out over here and see as we have used perform analysis change command for each segment the results are available with the different inactive members in different load cases so ultimately from this example what you understand so basically the conclusion is in category of the brace frame if you want brace to carry lateral loads only and not the gravity loads you can utilize this particular inactive member specification and this can be achieved by making the bracing members inactive for the gravity load cases and reactivating them for the lateral load cases so in this particular video we have covered the concept of brace frame and inactive members step by step inputs for dead live and wind loads how to reactivate and deactivate the braces based on the loading scenarios
Understanding in active members is the key to mastering this stat for the real world application. So don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your questions in the comment box. And always remember, don't just learn software, learn concepts. Thank you.